All right, so we're here on the Neil 43 Tremogia. That's a 2002 uh, trimaran that's here for sale. We're standing here on the main center hole, or the Aka, to use the correct Polynesian terminology. And on the Neil, the dinghies are all mounted on a set of chocks uh, on the very far stern. Here we have a Plastismo uh, tender with a five horsepower Suzuki. In order to launch and relaunch the dinghy, uh, you actually use the uh, davit or mini boom that swings out from the main boom. It's hard to see from this angle, but the line leads down there. You got a German sheeting system uh, in the aft seating area, uh, L-shaped settee, uh, table, a sun pad beneath me here, and a plancha grill. A set of chocks here lead to uh, antal winches on either side. Those are for controlling the head sails. This boat comes with both a jib and a geneker. can also mount a Genoa. Uh, steering station is, is more like a cat. It's not a twin helm like the Nautitech. Uh, rather, it's an offset raised helm. All of the lines are led back to a series of chocks. You have three winches here. Two of them are open and the other one is a uh, captive. Uh, steering wheel with this nice textured grip. I really like this. It's a nice touch. Uh, throttle for your single Volvo uh, 50 horsepower engine. B and G electronics. And all your winches are of course uh, electronic, motorized, as you can see by the buttons. Uh, sunshade mounted on stainless steel poles twin shrouds and uh, lead up to a single spreader rig. Making our way forward, you'll notice you have these nice uh, teak tow rails and uh, integrated handholds into the coach roof. A pair of solar panels up here and space to add more should you desire. Of course, your main boom and your lazy bag with your main sail. Uh, the front area, you've got a split trampoline. The uh, anchor anchor pulpit is more similar to a motor yacht where it uh, is designed to be integrated with a roll bar anchor like that. And uh, you've got mounting point again for your jib and this boat also includes a Genneker. Two hatches that open up to the main salon. Really like these nice uh, accented uh, cleats as well. Just a nice aesthetic touch. You know, if you just look at the bows, you notice how fine they are. Really helps for for slicing through uh, the seas. And of course, they are inverse bows given that this is a uh, modern Mark Lombard design. This boat obviously will outsail a catamaran of similar length as trimarans are wont to do. Okay, beneath me is another storage locker on uh, the starboard outrigger or AMA to use the Polynesian term. You have a fold down teak swim ladder this boat also comes equipped with Starlink, the, uh, the other dishes inside. And this is runs on a gasket, so you can lift and raise this. Your main aft seating area, again, L-shaped settee. Give you a look at the chocks. And from the center of the boat, you also have a set of steps that lead up to the, to the helm station. All right, we will make our way inside now. All right, entering into the interior of the boat, main salon or the cockloon, to use the trademark term the designers came up with. Off to your port, you have a L-shaped settee with a backrest that divides the seating area into front facing and aft facing. There is not uh, multiple layouts for this boat. There's just a single layout. You've got a forward V-berth, a uh, 
quarter berth on this side. It's more of a queen, but I use the word quarter berth. Uh, nav station here. Your galley is next to the owner suite and a single head. No, you don't need multiple heads. People can learn to share. With a wand shower electric flush. Heading into the owner suite, you have a queen size bed that is mounted on top of the bridge deck. And I mean, this, you know, this is just something you can't get on any other catamaran of comparable size. You've got storage in three sections uh, up there, here, and in back here. And you can also open these blinds up to the uh, main interior. You have cold storage uh, next to the nav station, uh, compression posts covered in uh, faux leather, dual basin sink, set of storage lockers for your kitchen, a dual burner propane stove and an oven, and a electric kettle. The This door uh, slides to fully enclose the forward V-berth. And a set of witches steps to uh, conserve space for getting in and out of this uh, stateroom. Your main breaker panel is here as well as an interior uh, chart plotter and compass. Great place to keep watch. And in the quarter berth, you have uh, storage in this section underneath the bed. And you can also add a curtain to uh, enclose this section. And you can also uh, pull back that curtain there to enclose uh, this section of the hole since privacy is a bit at a premium. The main mechanical space with the water maker, uh, this boat doesn't have AC, you know, European boat, 220. But uh, the main engine, water maker, all of the mechanical stuff, it's all conveniently located inside underneath this hatch. You know, no need to go out on deck to, uh, to open up compartments that are, you know, near the aft to access the engine. Uh, it's a bit tight and the lighting isn't really great, so I'll flash some photos uh, instead of video. That's it. But again, single engine, you don't have to have two engines on a trimaran bow thruster is included and you know some people ask you know why is this boat you know so cheap and i i don't want to use the word cheap but cat trimarans neil trimarans on a whole are less expensive than catamarans of uh of similar length because you just don't need as much material you know you only need one engine you don't need two engines uh you don't need as much uh fiberglass you don't need as much wiring it just uh allows you to have a faster boat uh, for less money. All right, so that will wrap it up for our tour of the Neo 43 Trimogia. Um, fun fact about this boat, the uh, name of the boat is actually comes from a mountain in Switzerland that is near and dear to the owner. I guess it is somewhat uh, ironic to name a boat after a land feature like that, but you know, I actually kind of like it. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, my contact info is in the description along with the full listing. So uh, drop me a line if you're interested. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.